little artist and Mariana Olson and today we are drawing a cornucopia. Are you ready? Let's do this! Okay, we're gonna need paper, something to color with, I'm using markers, and something to draw with. I will use a black marker that you can change for a pencil. Okay, little artists, we are here to draw today a cornucopia. This is a very tricky word for me to say. This is a thing that is very common and around Thanksgiving. It's a symbol of good harvest. So we are gonna start with the fruit and the vegetables that are sticking out, and then we're gonna do the actual basket that they, they used. I'm gonna start here with a corn. So I'm gonna do kind of like a C shape, backwards C shape. And then we're gonna do the point of the leaf kind of like long here. I'm gonna repeat the same shape. I'm gonna go in behind and I'm gonna do a point here. The corn is actually laid down here. And now we're gonna do the part of the corn and I'm just gonna go doing kind of like bumps. I'm gonna do three bumps and the four bump is kind of like a C shape. Now let's repeat those bumps going to the other side. And I'm gonna start here in the second one, I wanna go one, and I wanna do the same thing. I wanna start here on this one, and I wanna go in. And now we're gonna join these bumps that we did here. If you want, you can put another leaf sticking out here, just like a triangle shape, like this. Now let's continue putting uh, fruits in behind. I wanna start here with an apple. So I wanna do kinda like, again, kinda like a long C shape that goes around the corn. And I wanna go here doing a leaf. And in behind the leaf, I wanna do a curve that connects here with the corn. And here we can do the little stem right there. Now we're gonna do a big pumpkin. And I wanna do kinda like a heart shape just the top of the heart. So I'm gonna go one and two. Now on this side, I wanna go down and connect with the apple. And in this side, I wanna go a little wider and I wanna connect with the corn down here, like this. And I wanna do two more curves starting from here. I'm gonna go one and connects with the apple. And one more here, we're gonna go around. We're gonna do a big stem on the top with a rectangle shape like this. And inside we can put a couple lines. Now let's do the leaf of the pumpkin and we can do also one of the vines that comes out. So we can just go kind of like in a spiral way with a marker, spiral going down here. And I wanna stick a little leaf coming out of here. I'm just gonna go doing little triangle shapes going around right here and we can put a line inside. Let's do one more pumpkin in here and I'm just gonna go up and this letter U is a funny really letter U. Just went out and I tilt it a little bit here. Now from this point I'm gonna go around and connect with the apple. So I went out a little bit. These are the kind of pumpkins that are very narrow on the top. We are going to mark where the pumpkin starts changing color. So I wanna do one and two curves, and I wanna do a couple lines inside. So starting from the top, I wanna go down following the same shape and continuing here. And I'm gonna do one more that is gonna go down and connect with the other pumpkin. And here on the top, we're gonna do a long stem. You can keep adding fruit to this. I'm gonna leave it like this for now. And if you decide you can put more apples, you can put an extra corn. We're gonna start doing this kind of like horn shape that goes on the top. So the first thing I'm gonna do is the half a circle where everything comes out, okay? So we're gonna start on this point where the pumpkin is and I'm gonna go around to, uh, to this other pumpkin. So it's gonna look like this. We're just gonna try to go slow and try to trace a circle that goes around all this food and connects to the other side. Now we're gonna do this shape again, but before we do, we're gonna kinda like curve here and then we're gonna go around one more time. And remember to go slow, you can press your marker against the paper and this helps me go or keep the line a little bit more straight. 
Now we're gonna repeat these steps a couple more times, but each time it's gonna go narrow and narrow until we go to a point. So I'm gonna go with a curve. Now I'm gonna do one more, and this one is smaller. I wanna do one more, and this is the part that we're gonna start going up. So let's do one more, but this time it's kinda like more sideways, so it's gonna go like this. And the last one is on top of this one and is the, the smallest of all. So we did five curves here. We're gonna do five curves here, okay? So I'm gonna go up here a little and I'm gonna do one, kinda like the same length of this one. Then I wanna do one more. And this second one is gonna be the widest and I'm gonna actually connect it to this side to make it easy. So we're gonna go from here and I'm gonna go wide and connect with this one. Now let's connect this here right away. Okay, you have two. Now we're gonna keep going up so it looks like a horn. So we're gonna come up and I wanna connect these two. Let's go up one more time and I wanna connect these two. And the last one, we're gonna go up here and we're gonna connect these two, okay? So we keep going up and up, and I should join these first. Make sure that when you do this one, you join it to the other side. The second one is the longest one that goes connect up here, and then you can keep going to the top. And there, that's it. We finished this picture that I hope it was easy for you to follow. I wanna keep it simple and just to put a couple vegetables here. But remember, you can keep adding to it. And now my favorite part is coming. Let's color. Okay, little artists, we are done. This is how my picture turned out now that I add all the colors. Remember, you can keep adding more uh, items to your cornucopia, more fruit and vegetables. At the end, I add some of these leaves here on the back and here on the bottom to give it more like the fall vibe. At the end, I just pass around with a color pencil, a brown color pencil here to give them some shadows, just really light. You can color on the bottom. And then I did the same thing with color green. And at the end, I choose a color pastel. It was a white color pastel to give this shiny part here. I just pass it really light a couple times just to give it a little bit of shine to the fruit. You can also do this with a color pencil or with a white crayon. So if you like this video, don't forget to subscribe to the channel so you don't miss lessons step-by-step step like this one. See you next time.